Anybody who's been to India knows that this place is truly one of a kind. But it's not just the land of spices, Bollywood, and bizarre world records. India is also home to some of the most unusual and cutest animals on the planet. Take, for instance, the mythical sounding flying dragon lizard. Dragons don't exist and lizards don't fly, right? Well, in southern India, you'll find a lizard that looks like a tiny dragon and can fly. No, it's not a Game of Thrones style dragon, and it doesn't technically fly. The lizard glides from tree to tree, but that doesn't make it any less extraordinary. The reptile manages this unprecedented feat with the help of special membranes that most of the time look like loose skin hanging from the sides of the animal's body. When a lizard decides it's time for a change of scenery, it leaps from a tree and catches the air with its sort of air pockets. Then this skillful critter stretches its hind limbs and also uses its tiny neck flaps to stabilize itself during flight. And even though the lizard doesn't exactly fly, it can travel a distance of over 190 feet in the air from one tree to another. Pygmy Hogs Just look at this cutie and say hello to the smartest pig species in the world. There were once lots of pygmy haws in India, Bhutan, and Nepal, but nowadays only about 150 of them remain in the wild. The pygmy hog is usually only about 2 feet long and weighs about 20 pounds. Yeah, a mini pig no bigger than a medium-sized dog. These little guys also eat pretty much everything they see, from seeds and roots to insects, eggs, and small reptiles. While female pigs live in small groups, males prefer to lead a life of solitude. But when mating season comes around, male hogs start to compete for the attention of females by trying to intimidate and scare other males away. Can you imagine this little guy trying to look intimidating? Oh, cute! Indian Spotted Chivero Train These absolutely mind-boggling animals are also called mouse deer. It's no wonder since they're the smallest hooved animals in the world. The Indian Spotted Chivero Tain is a little under 2 feet in length and weighs just 7 pounds, making it somewhere between a Chihuahua and a Jack Russell Terrier in size. But don't let that tiny stature fool ya! The Chivero Train's long, sharp fangs can put Dracula to shame. The little mouse deer use them while fighting for mates in territory. Again, I'm sorry, but I just can't imagine something so cute as being scary or combative. But maybe I'd be singing a different tune if I were a tiny mouse deer stepping in on this guy's territory. By the way, here's a fun fact. Chiverotain means little goat in French. A tiny mouse goat deer-like creature with vampire fangs. Now I've seen everything. Rusty Spotted Cat When I say wild cats, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Lions, tigers, panthers? How about a tiny little feline that could easily be mistaken for a kitten? The rusty spotted cat lives only in the grasslands of India and the mountain forests of Sri Lanka, and it's one of the smallest members of the cat family. In fact, this wild kitty is the tiniest cat in Asia and is probably two times smaller than your common house cat. See for yourself. The rusty spotted cat only gets up to 19 inches long and weighs a mere 3 pounds on average. Yeah, that's way smaller than my tubby tabby. Unfortunately, since 2016, the rusty spotted cat has been listed as near threatened because its habitat is being destroyed by deforestation. Sloth Bear So it's a really slow bear then? That'd be a relief if one happened to cross your path. But alas, it's a bear, not a sloth or some hybrid of the two. You see, back in the 1700s, people mistakenly classified this species as sloths due to the long claws and the fact that they live in trees. We now know that was a blunder, but I guess the name stuck around. This bear isn't all that big, but at 5 to 6 feet in length, it might stand shoulder to shoulder with you. These animals have thick, shaggy coats that vary in color from their black to rich auburn with a distinctive white V on their chests. Interestingly enough, the sloth bear has the longest tail among all bear species. It can get up to 7 inches in length. Also, when these bears eat, they suck up grub and ants with their super long lips and make funny vacuum cleaner sounds while doing it. But a pretty scary thing about this bear is its paws. Disproportionately large, they're decorated with well-developed, albeit blunt, 4-inch claws. Okay, the standing shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder thing just got a little bit scarier. 
think I'll keep my distance. Indian flying fox. We started with flying lizards and now we've come to flying foxes? India really is a magical land. Doesn't have two tails though. Okay, jokes aside, this creature is also called the Greater Indian Fruit Bat. And it lives in other countries of South Asia too. But it is India's largest bat, as well as one of the biggest bat species in the world. The Indian flying fox only weighs about three and a half pounds, but it's that wingspan that'll drop your jaw. From tip to tip, it can get up to five feet across. That's about as big as the sloth bear we just talked about. But don't worry, this giant bat isn't after your blood. You can probably understand from the name that flying foxes feed mainly on fruit. Unfortunately, it sometimes gets them into trouble with local farmers who come up with different unpleasant ways to save their harvest. By the way, Indian flying foxes are very different from other bat species in that they don't use echolocation. Instead, they rely on good old-fashioned eyesight and scent to find their meals. And now, let's play a guessing game. What small animal has short, silky fur, large eyes, and a big, bushy tail? SpongeBob hangs out with one named Sandy. Okay, you get it. I'm talking about squirrels. You've probably only seen them in solid gray, brown, and maybe even red, depending on the species. Now, imagine a giant, multicolored squirrel zooming up a nearby tree. Hey, just head to India and you won't need to imagine because that's where these beautiful creatures live. Shekru, which is another name of the Malabar giant squirrel, will stand out in any crowd thanks to its luxurious multicolored coat. Usually, one squirrel has two or three shades of different colors in its fur. But these colors can vary from creamy beige, buff, and tan to rust, seal brown, and even purple and blue. But the most amazing thing about the giant squirrel is that it's, well, giant. When the animal stretches out, it reaches a whopping three feet long. Does that mean if it stands on its hind legs that this squirrel will be up to my waist? Nah, not quite. Because it's the Malabar's breathtaking brilliant blue bushy tail that makes up most of this animal's length. On the other hand, weighing at a little over four pounds, giant squirrels are pretty heavy. You know, for a squirrel. It might seem like being multicolored and bright wouldn't help an animal in the wild since they stand out to predators. But the giant squirrel's colorful coat actually helps it blend in with the forest canopy and hides them from their main enemies, leopards and different birds of prey. Therefore, with the help of their wondrous coat, Malabars are pretty good at keeping out of danger's way. Also, they aren't too fussy about their food. They eat almost everything they manage to find. Bark, seeds, flowers, bird eggs, insects, you name it. Malabar giant squirrels aren't listed as an endangered species yet. Unfortunately, the squirrel's population is steadily declining, mostly because of human activity. In some areas, they've already disappeared. But if you visit the most evergreen forest of peninsular India, chances are you'll see this rainbow-colored rodent scurrying through the trees. What are the cutest animals that live in your country? Tell me about them in the comments section below. Remember to hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life.